Inflation is getting hotter again because the staple prices like the wheat, rice, corn, soybean meal seems to be getting pricey again. And let's look at the meals. Over the last two months, they have been up by 20%. And let's try to understand the logic why interest rate maintained at this high point. Now, first of all, interest rate was up is because that the inflation number like CPI was up. And before the CPI number was up is because that commodity prices like this wheat or rice was up. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel as always is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And we can see that the Fed has maintained the interest rate for at least half a year by now. And I think unlikely he will cut the interest rate anytime this year. Why? Because earlier we studied that the commodity prices, the edible commodities, the staple prices seems to be moving up again. And that will lead the inflation data like CPI to move up. And subsequently, I suspect that the interest rate will move up provided the CPI number move up. And let's look at this for agriculture product again. For Asia, we consume rice. These are staple prices. And we could see that the inflation not exactly caused by supply chain. There's something else, but that's a topic for another day. But what we could see here is that because of COVID, from then, we could see that the price were much higher. And it's still maintained at a high point. And but we could see that since the Russia Ukraine war and the wheat prices have came off and it seems to be moving up again. And we also saw the corn is making a U-turn and definitely the mills has been up by 20%. Let's look at the some of the primary usage for wheat. Wheat are used to make bread, bakery, corn serve as a staple food and a primary ingredient in animal feeds. And it also produced corn syrup and ethanol. It's a fuel. And for soybean meal, and that's important, is mainly used for high protein animal feeds. Now, can you imagine if the animal feeds are much pricier? It means that the meat prices will ultimately be pricier and that will increase the whole cost to all the commodities. And let's look at what happened to during the latest FOMC press conference. And one of the reporters asked Joram Powell. Now, she belongs to the middle income group. So her question were direct towards themselves. She said that higher interest rate with higher mortgage rate and car loan is hurting consumer. What would you say to that? And I like what Joram Powell said. And he said that, well, the things that hurts everybody and particularly people in the lower income brackets is inflation. If you are a person who living paycheck to paycheck and suddenly all the things you buy, the fundamentals of life go up in price, you are in trouble right away. And I always like to look at what Jordan Powell say and he always say that we look at the totality of the data that will include inflation, inflation expectation, and all the other data. And when he say all the other data, it also refers to wheat prices and all these edible commodity prices. And that's one of the consideration. I like to analyze uh, inflation with all these commodities. And I, I like to say that gold is a leader of the rest of the commodity prices. As long as gold maintained at a high point, the rest of the commodities were based on the time and season, it will have an excuse to move up. And we just saw and discussed that the edible commodity seems to be heading up again. And let's look at how to manage uh, the wheat, for example. And I have drawn this very long term, and we could see uh, this is a monthly chart all the way to the 90s. And we could see that inflation generally is going up with all these food prices, and we can see this upward slope. And let's narrow down to a bit more on the short term on the daily chart, and this 
is what I'm seeing here. And I'm going to draw a downtrend line here. And my expectation is that with that consideration over this long term, with Apple channel here. Now, over the short term, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hatch uh, into the rising cost. Maybe I will consider commodity contracts like these uh, since they have broken on this uh, the last two years of downtrend. They've broken above. And I do suspect that moving forward, I'm seeing that the commodity prices will continue to move up from here. And my strategy, it will be to buy into dips. Even there's one or two interest rate cuts this year, it does not mean that the general trend of interest rates is coming down. It could just be a retracement for more upside. Keep an eye on data such as commodity prices. It will help us navigate through this very interesting period we are all experiencing today. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon and description to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.